now that I am back in familiar territory, I feel a lot more comfortable telling you what's happened and it's not even 11 a.m. Hi guys, this is Connie. It's Friday the 13th. I don't know, do you think that that's like a superstitious, superstitious once upon a time, I knew how to use diction and speak clear English. Do you believe in the superstition of Friday the 13th? I've got somebody over here in my blind spot and I'm like, are you gonna move forward or not? Speaking of crazy drivers, I um, I was en route making a gift thing again. I like giving gifts apparently and uh, receiving them. Shameless plug. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, it said that this person lived in Sterling. So I had to go pick up some of the supplies to put in the gift. You know, went to a classy place, 7 Eleven. And in the process, like I had to move my purse because I wanted it somewhere where when I tap on the brake, it's not going to fall over and the contents spill out. So I went to move it and the light turns green at an intersection, I'm cruising at maybe like 25, 30 miles an hour because there's a car in front of me and that's what the speed limit allows. And I hear this car behind me, this big blue truck start honking its horn at me. And I was like, what, I'm moving. Like I'm, I'm driving, I'm not even like parked. There's no reason for you to be honking at me. What is your malfunction? And uh, you know, this guy gets ah, all sorts of stupid and I go to pull into the turn lane and I'm like, you're an, you know, I use this link. I don't believe in using the finger, but I believe in using this symbol. So I hold up this symbol and I see this guy who proceeds to just blow right by me. Now, mind you, this is maybe a 35 mile an hour street and there was already a car in front of me that I refused to tailgate because that's aggressive driving and aggressive driving is bad. So, you know, I'm going the speed limit, put my space cushion between me and this vehicle and this truck just blows by and it's the first time, it's the first time in my private vehicle. Uh, what we like to call POV, my privately owned vehicle personally owned vehicle or something like that. It's the first time I actually saw somebody give me the finger. Um, it's been decades since the last time that ever happened and I wasn't behind the wheel of a school bus. So I was just kind of like, really? It's not even 10 a.m. right now and you want to be giving somebody the finger and get all sorts of stupid, aggressive? You are going to have a horrible Friday, dude. I don't feel sorry for you because you're mor you're moronic. And if anything, it just kind of made me chuckle that somebody was in such a hurry. They would go down this one of the slowest roads possible. Mind you, the car in front of me that I was refusing to tailgate had like five carpets in it. So it's gonna go slower than molasses. And this guy's now stuck behind it. So. <laughs> that was a thing. How has your Friday been? Let me know. Be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you.